Windows 8 would like you to set up a user account for everyone who uses your PC. A user account works sort of like a cocktail party name tag that helps Windows recognize who's sitting at the keyboard. There are three types of user accounts, administrator, standard, and guest. With an administrator account, you can control the entire PC. You decide who plays with it and what each user can do on the PC. The owner usually holds this almighty account. They can then set up accounts for each household member and decide what they can and can't do. Standard account holders can access most of the PC but can't make any big changes to it or run or install new programs. Guests can play with the PC, but it doesn't recognize them by name. These accounts function a lot like standard accounts, but without any privacy. Anybody can sign in to the guest account, and the desktop will look the way the last guest left it. To add a user account, pull up the charms bar and click the settings icon. Then click change PC settings. Finally, click the users category. While you're on this screen, you can tweak your own account if you'd like, or add another person. To add a new user, click here and then choose which type of account to create. Local accounts work well for casual guests, family members, or people not interested in Microsoft accounts and their privileges. It's basically a generic account. To create a local account, click Sign in without a Microsoft account, and then click the Local Account button. Enter a username, a password, and a password hint in case you forget it. Choose a simple password and hint. The user can change them after they sign in. Then click Finish. Your other option is to create a Microsoft account. Select this option when somebody specifically asks for it. This is an email address that links to Microsoft, its computers, and its billing department. To create a Microsoft account, enter the email address, click Next, and then click Finish. The account will be waiting on the Start screen. When the person wants to use the PC, they'll choose the account with their email address and then type in the associated password. If the email address and password matches, the account is ready for action.